Hey there, champions. Welcome back to another Read Aloud. Tonight we're on chapter one of Monday with a Mad Genius, and it's called Old Friends. Here we go. Jack poured milk over his cereal. His stomach felt fluttery. It was Monday, the first day of a new school year. Jack always felt nervous on the first day. What would his new teacher be like? Would his desk be close to a window? Would friends from last year be in his class again this year? Did you guys think about all those things the first day of school for you this year? Something you can relate to, how Jack is feeling? Annie, hurry, Jack's mom called upstairs. It's 15 minutes till eight. School starts in half an hour. Jack's dad walked into the kitchen. Are you sure you and Annie don't want me to drive you? He asked. No, thanks. We don't mind walking, said Jack. Their school was only three blocks away. Annie, hurry, their mom called again. You're going to be late. The back door banged open. Annie rushed into the kitchen. She was out of breath. Oh, I thought you were upstairs, their mom said with surprise. You were outside? Yes, said Annie, panting. Just taking a quick walk. She looked at Jack. Her eyes sparkled. Hurry, Jack. We really should go now. Okay, I'm coming, said Jack. He leapt up from the table. He could tell Annie wasn't talking about school. That tree house must be back. Finally, Jack grabbed his backpack. Annie held the door open for him. No breakfast, their mom asked. Too nervous to eat now, mom, said Jack. Me too, said Annie. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. Have fun, their mom said. Learn a lot, said their dad. Don't worry, we will, said Annie. Jack and Annie slipped out the door and walked quickly across their yard. It's back, said Annie. I figured it was, said Jack. Morgan must want us to look for another secret of happiness to help Merlin, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. Let's run. Jack and Annie dashed up the sidewalk. They crossed the street and headed into the Frog Creek Woods. They ran between the trees through shadows and light until they came to the tallest oak. High in the tree was the magic tree house. The rope ladder was swaying in the chilly morning wind. How did you know it was here? Asked Jack, catching his breath. I woke up thinking about Teddy and Kathleen, said Annie, and I had this strange feeling. Really? said Jack. Teddy, Kathleen! He shouted up at the treehouse. Two young teenagers looked out the treehouse window. A curly-haired boy with freckles and a big grin, and a smiling girl with sea-blue eyes and dark, wavy hair. Jack? Annie? The girl said. Come up! Come up! Said the boy. Jack and Annie hurried up the rope ladder. When they climbed inside the treehouse, they threw their arms around their friends. Are we going to look for another secret of happiness, said Annie, to help Merlin? Yes, and this time you will travel back to Florence, Italy, 500 years ago, said Teddy. Florence, Italy, said Jack. What's there? An amazing person who will help you, said Kathleen. Who, asked Annie. Is this person magical? Teddy grinned. Some people might say so he said. He reached into his cloak and pull, pulled out a book. The cover showed a drawing of a man wearing a purple cloak and a and floppy blue cap. He had a long nose, bright kind eyes with heavy eyebrows, and a flowing beard. The title said Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, said Jack. Are you kidding? And here's the picture. heard of him, said Annie. Who hasn't, said Jack. He was an incredible genius. This biography of Leonardo will help you on your mission, said Teddy. 
And so will this rhyme from Morgan, said Kathleen. She pulled, out a, she pulled a small piece of parchment paper from her cloak and gave it to Annie. Annie read the words on the paper aloud. To Jack and Annie of Frog Creek. Though the question is quite simple, simple answers might be wrong. If you want to know the right one, help the genius all day long. Morning, noon, and afternoon till the night bird sings its song. So to find the secret of happiness, we need to spend the whole day helping Leonardo da Vinci, said Jack. Yes, said Kathleen. Teddy nodded. I wish you could come too, said Annie, and help us, said Jack. Never fear, said Kathleen. You will, ha you will have the help of the great genius and the wand of Di Dianthus. Oh, Annie said to Jack, did you bring the wand? Of course said Jack. I always carry it with me for safekeeping. He reached into his backpack and pulled out the gleaming silver wand. The wand of Di Dianthus, Teddy said in a hushed voice. The wand looked like the horn of a unicorn. It burned in Jack's hand with warmth or cold. He couldn't tell which. He carefully put the wand back into his pack. Remember the three rules of the wand, said Kathleen. Sure, said Annie. You can only use it for the good of others. You can only use it after you've tried your hardest. And you can only use it with a command of five words. Excellent, said Kathleen. Thanks, said Annie. Ready, she asked Jack. Jack nodded. Bye, Teddy. Bye, Kathleen. Goodbye, said Teddy. And good luck said Kathleen. Jack pointed at the cover of the book. I wish we could go to Leonardo da Vinci. In the distance, the school bell started to ring, letting kids know that school would start in 10 minutes. But in the Frog Creek woods, the wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. And that's how chapter one ends. Chapter two is called Looking for, for Leonardo. And that'll be the next chapter we read. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Good night.